If you are interested to apply for admission in my Korean university for masters or PhD degree, then this video is specially for you guys. So let's start. Hello viewers, I am Amar Dilawar and I am a PhD student at Suncheon National University. And in this video, I will guide you about the admission procedure of the Suncheon National University. The admissions for the fall 2022 are now open at Suncheon National University. And in this video, I will guide you about the complete procedure that how can you apply for admission and scholarship, how can you prepare your documents and how can you send your documents. First of all, I want to tell you some benefits to apply at Suncheon National University. The first thing is that there is no IELTS requirement to apply for Suncheon National University. For example, you can apply without any language score, but if you have some Korean score or some IELTS score or some English scores, you will get some additional scholarship. And the second benefit is that there is no application fee. There is zero application fee to apply for Suncheon National University. So now I will guide you the complete procedure. So let's move towards computer screen. So these are the admission guidelines of the Suncheon National University. You can download the admission guidelines from the description box. Please keep one thing in your mind that the admission guidelines and application forms, they are merged in the same file. So in the same file, you can check the admission guidelines and the, from the same file, you can fill the application forms. So now I will guide you about the admission guidelines of the Suncheon National University. So the first step which you need to do is to find your department and major. So they have provided the complete list of departments and their major with their master's course, doctor course or combined course. So here you can see in this file that if there is master's course then you find this circle. If there is doctor course then you can find a circle and if there is combined course then you can also find a circle. But if there is no doctor course then circle is missing. So from this file you can find your major and department. And the one good thing about the Suncheon National University is that you can find almost all departments and majors. So Suncheon National University is a diverse university where you can find majors regarding to humanities or social science, you can find natural science majors, you can also find some engineering majors, some arts major. So you can find all majors from this file. So after finding your major, you have to look at the admission timeline. So the application submission period is till 7th of June. So the deadline to send your documents is the 7th of June. And please keep one thing in your mind that you have to send documents by postal service. You cannot apply online to the Suncheon National University. And the best postal service to send your documents is DHL or FedEx. But I would like to recommend you that use the DHL service. And if you use the DHL service, ask them that I am sending my documents to Korea so then they will give you some additional discount. Then you can also check the eligibility criteria. You can apply for any major irrespective of the, your previous degree and some degrees they need some Korean proficiency because the degree is in Korean language. So the students who are applying at the Department of Education for their master's and PhD degree they must have topic level 4 like Korean proficiency level 4 or higher. But for all other departments there is no need for topic level and there is no need for IELTS level. Then for in academic case for master's degree you must submit your bachelor's degree and for doctor's degree you have to submit your bachelor's and master's degree. Then you can see a list of documents which are required for the admission at Suncheon National University. The first one is application form. I will guide you later that how can you fill the application form. Please focus on the second point, the original degree certificate. Suncheon National University only accept your original degree certificate which is attested by the Korean embassy or which must be apostilled. If in the case that you have only one original degree, then you can send the photocopy of your original degree. But your photocopy also must be attested from the Korean embassy in your country or it must be apostilled. Without apostilation or without embassy attestation, you cannot apply for admission and your documents will not be considered for the admission. Then another thing I want to mention here that there are three documents which you must be attested from the Korean embassy or you must apostile those documents. The three documents are your original degree certificate 
your transcript and your proof of citizen, your proof of citizen and your parents proof of citizenship. And for citizenship documents, you can use your FRC which is family registration certificate or you can use your birth certificate. So these three documents, they must be attested from the Korean embassy and if you are also sending their photocopies, so their photocopies also must be attested from the Korean embassy. Then you have to submit your personal statement and study plan and academic objectives. Then you have to submit your passport photocopy. To apply for admission at Sunchon National University, you must need a passport photocopy. So if you don't have passport, please apply for the passport as soon as possible. Then the point number six is for the statement of financial resources. Like if you are applying for self-funding, then you have to submit this. Well, if you are applying for scholarship or if you have some acceptance from the professor of the Sunchon National University, then there is no need for this document. Then you have to submit your parents' nationality. Then there is college registration and result inquiry consent form. Then there are some additional documents which you can attach if relevant. You have to apply your employment certificate, language proficiency certificate or certificate of completion, Korean language training courses. There are some documents which are not applicable to all applicants. You have to check the detail of the document and decide by yourself that whether your application needs this document or not. Then there is some letter of recommendation for doctorate degree and then letter of recommendation for combined masters and PhD degree. One thing you must keep in your mind that for the admission in Sunchon National University for PhD degree and master's and PhD degree, then you need a letter of recommendation from the Korean professor who is teaching at Sunchon National University. So I will guide you later that how can you get this letter of recommendation. And if you are applying for the PhD in the department of pharmacy, then you have to submit your master's thesis. And the certificate of translation, this document is only applicable to the applicants whose documents are in their native language. But if your educational document and all other documents are in English language or in Korean language, then there is no need to submit this certificate of translation. And at the end, you can check the date for the announcement of the successful applicants. On the 30th of June, they will announce the successful applicants on the home page of Sunchon National University. And this is the link to the home page of the Sunchon National University. So this is the tuition fee structure if you are applying on self-finance base. So you can check the tuition fee structure from here. So now I will guide you that how can you fill the application form. So here you can see the application form. Application form is in both Korean and English language. So you can fill this easily and don't fill this form by handwriting. Fill this form in the MS Word. English version or MS World Korean version. I will attach these all forms in the MS Word format in the description box. You can download the application forms from the description box. So here you have to fill your personal information, your citizenship. You can fill this all information easily. There is nothing difficult here. You have to add your educational background from your high school, from your college and university. Then you have to submit your degree plan that whether you are applying for master's, doctorate or combined master and PhD degree. Then you have to write your Korean or English proficiency details. And here one thing please keep in your mind that to apply for admission at the Sunchon National University, you must need the recommendation letter from the faculty advisor. So here you have to write the college of department of that professor, the name of that professor and when you will submit your documents to the professor or university, they will ask the professor to put their signature or stamp here. So how can you get a recommendation letter from the professor? I will guide you later. So in form number two, you have to write your personal statement and academic objectives. So you can fill all these forms easily because you can fill either in English language or Korean language. Then you have to write two essays, one on the topic that why you are applying for this scholarship and the other one is study plan after discussing with your professor. Then the form number three is regarding the statement of financial resources. So if you are applying on self-funding basing, then you have to submit this document. But if you are applying through professor scholarship or if you have recommendation from some professor, then there is no need to fill this form. You will send this form to professor and he will fill on your behalf and send to the university. And form number four is regarding the permission to release student record. This is just consent of information here you have to write your previous university name, your degree, your degree registration number that in case if Sunchon University needs to verify your documents from the university in your country, then they will send this document that you allow the university to check your academic details. And here this is the letter of recommendation for doctoral course. So you must need to submit this letter of recommendation if you are applying for PhD course. And if you are applying for master's course, then there is no need to submit this letter of recommendation. But if you have some recommendation 
recommendation from Korean professor then it will increase your chances for selection and scholarship. So at the end you can see the address where you have to submit your hard copies of document. So you have to submit your hard copies of documents to this address and your documents will reach to the university until 7th of June. So now I will guide you about the scholarships which are offered by the Suncheon National University. Here one thing is very important that Suncheon National University will offer you scholarship only for your tuition fee. But for your personal expenses and living expenses you must need recommendation letter from Korean supervisor. He agree to supervise your master or PhD degree then he will pay you living expenses every month and if you didn't get this tuition fee scholarship then the Korean professor will also pay your tuition fee. So for apply to this Paru regional talent scholarship there is no additional document. First you have to apply for admission at Suncheon National University and if you get that admission at the Suncheon National University then you have to apply for this Paru scholarship and if you get this scholarship the university will pay your tuition fee. Then there are some special scholarships for different departments for example if you get admission in advanced components and material engineering department then you will get a scholarship for about 1.5 million Korean won for your master's degree and 2 million Korean won for your PhD degree. So here you have to keep one thing in your mind that the main funding source at the Suncheon National University is professor funding. So you have to request professor to supervise your master's or PhD degree. If he accepts your request to supervise you for your master or PhD degree then he will pay you tuition fee, then he will pay your living expenses, then he will fully support you and you will work as a researcher in his lab. So now I will guide you that how can you contact different professors of different departments and how can you request them to give you recommendation letter or give you scholarship to apply for admission at the Suncheon National University. So now I will guide you that how can you find your department, how can you find your major, how can you find your research area and how can you find your professor and request him to supervise your master's and PhD degree. So you can see the website of Suncheon National University on the screen and this is the department introduction section and I have attached the link in the description box. So here you can see all the departments for example department of law, department of public administration, accounting major, history, Japanese department, department of economics, department of education, department of life resource, forest resource, animal resource, horticulture studies. So for example you want to apply for in the department of horticulture so then how can you find professor. So you have to simply click on this horticulture studies and it will take you to the department of horticulture and here you can see there is department history, faculty introduction, lab introduction and career introduction. So you have to click on the faculty introduction and it will take you to the faculty of this department. So here you can see the name of professor and his research area. So here you can see the name of professor is Professor Song and his major is horticulture breeding and biofunctionality. So by using this method you can find professor relevant to your research area. So here you can see there is professor regarding to flower gardening. So here you can see the professor regarding to the molecular breeding or other things. The email address of each professor is also mentioned on this website. So you have to find the email address of this professor and you have to request him. You have to send him email that he will supervise your master's or PhD degree. So how to send email to professor to request for supervision? I have a separate video on this topic. You can assess the video from the i button and I have also attached the link in the description box. So by following that video you request the professors at Suncheon National University to supervise your master's or PhD degree. So this is the easy process that how can you apply for admission at the Suncheon National University. So if you have any question regarding this video please leave in the comment section of this video. I will answer all your queries in the comment section. I request you to please don't send personal messages through Facebook. You can see my email address on the screen. Please contact me only for personal career counseling regarding scholarship. So we can make appointments through email. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.